So you know those top knots that people try to do that look really cute on them? Well, I tried one and it just doesn't work out for my thick hair. It just doesn't. So here we are with this messy ponytail. All right, she's got a pump. She's new and she's mad and everything I want in a foundation or so it claims. And I'm talking about the new CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation. And I'm testing this out for you guys. It's a full day trial and I am testing it out on my oily skin. So if you're interested in watching that, go ahead and keep on watching. Hello there fabulous, my name is Moni. For those of you who don't know, today we're gonna be testing out the True Blend uh, Matte Foundation from CoverGirl. This is a new release and it's supposed to be a 12 hour matte foundation and it's supposed to be non-transferable and I'm not sure what the coverage is but I am letting you know a little bit of my opinions um, along the video. I am going to be doing several check-ins for you guys to tell you how this foundation apply it's already on my face right now so as you can see I feel like the finish is a beautiful finish but if you want to know more about the application let's go ahead and get into that video but before we do that remember to hit that subscribe button hit that like button and that notification bell and if you want to you can also follow me on social media up here so let's get into the application of this foundation Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to applying this foundation. I got it here in this shade T30 and this is a neutral shade, I believe. I am more of a neutral tone normally, so hopefully this works. I was able to kind of test it out at the store. They had some open bottles there, so hopefully the lighting didn't play a trick on my skin and I'm able to test it out. So what we're gonna do is that I'm going to apply uh, primer on half of my face and uh, nothing on the other half to see how that works out. And I'm gonna be applying the Cover FX Blurring Primer that I got in my BoxyCharm last month because I've been wanting to try this, but you know, like, you guys didn't seem interested in like my boxy charms unboxings, so I kind of stopped doing those. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be trying like the makeup that they send me just on regular videos, I guess. And this is one of the products that I got from that box, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, it's tinted, so so I guess I'm gonna be applying it to this side and see how it works. So this is gonna be the primer side and this is gonna be the non-prime side. So half of my face is prime. It does look a little bit more modified on this side, doesn't it? I hope that doesn't affect the outcome of the foundation. So we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully that's not the case, but we will see. Um, I'm gonna be applying the foundation with my trusty L'Oreal sponge as I usually do. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let me bring you guys in closer so you can see the application a little bit better. Guys, don't pick your skin. This is what happens when you pick your skin. Learn from my mistakes. I never do. Well, okay, I sometimes do, but you see this loveliness over here? I did this to myself. So we're gonna go ahead and try to cover all this up. I don't think we have to shake it. So this is supposed to be like the true blend, like the matte version of the true blend, I guess. I never tried that foundation, but I heard great things about it. So I'm hoping that this is going to be about the same. I haven't watched any reviews because I don't want to get like bias about it again. And it's supposed to be a non-transferable foundation. So that is always a bonus because I hate nothing more than when you're wearing something and then like you do something like this and it transfers to your to your clothing. I hate that. Or even your significant other is so embarrassing when that happens, no? Okay, let me go ahead and apply it. And I'm just, I pump like about two and a half there. And I'm just going to dot it on my skin. Like, so it looks like it's going to be a good match. Not with my face, obviously. I feel like my face is always a little bit whiter or redder than 
the rest of my body but I think with the rest of my body it might be a good match okay and let's blend on this sucker may even be a little bit too dark on me <clears throat> okay so first thoughts it blends really easily that's pretty amazing uh, I don't see any patchiness at all that's pretty nice it does like dry down to a, a very matte finish if you ask me um, but w with the first coat it didn't cover up all this like discoloration that I have going on over here I don't see a whole lot of difference between the prime side and the non-prime side. Let's go ahead and apply another coat and see if that makes a difference in coverage. Because so far it's like a medium coverage to me at least. So let's see if we are able to cover up a little bit more. Okay, you guys, so that is a second coat right there. The color match is like perfect, you guys. Do you see that? <laughs> Good job, Moni. Good job. Anyway, um, so definitely it's a medium coverage. It's not a full coverage. I don't know what the claims are on here. Honestly, like I said, I didn't read anything about it. I, I haven't even watched any commercials on it. Uh, so let's see. It just said that it's a comfort matte finish, all the free formula, blah, blah, blah love that it has a pump because the original did not have a pump and um so i don't have no idea if this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation or what at all uh, it, to me it's a medium coverage foundation i love the finish of this foundation love the finish you guys it looks very natural looking up close seriously it's like a very natural finish it it's it's oh my god it's it's so good i i'm really impressed and it looked like or it felt like it just absorbed into the skin like fully like seriously like it kind of became one with my skin if that makes sense i really really like the finish of this foundation really really like it but like I said, the coverage, I will say medium. I mean, a lot of the discoloration, it's still peeking through here. So not quite what I expected it. Um, so, so far, that's what I've got going on with this foundation. And I am going to be doing a check-in for you guys. So you can see how it wears on my oily skin. Because if you remember... Or if you never watch my videos, I do have oily skin. So foundations tend to break throughout the day for me. Or most foundations do. There are only a very few ones that work with my skin. I have big hopes for this one because I really like the finish of this foundation. It's so natural. I love it. The match, uh, the color match is like perfect. So I'm hoping that this one will work throughout the day. Um, like I said, I will be checking in with you guys. Let me go ahead and finish off my makeup and I will come back and give you guys some thoughts about how everything else applied on it and when my next check-in will be. All right, guys, so my whole face is done now. As you can see, I've created this fun summer look for you guys. This video is gonna be coming up soon, so stay tuned for it if you want to find out how I created this video. But I apply everything that I needed to apply on top of this foundation, and I apply actually pretty beautifully. I use my beloved Peach Perfect Setting Powder to set this foundation, my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, and also my Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer for my concealer. That, that apply beautifully as well I feel like everything is just looks really nice I my skin just does not feel like it tight you know like with some matte foundations it feels really uncomfortable the application uh, the finish of this foundation is just very beautiful it's very natural looking in my opinion and so far it just looks really good everything applied really well except for this side I've had a little bit of trouble 
blending my bronzer and my blush on this side but I think it has to do with the primer that I used which was the cover effects primer that I got in my boxycharm so this side it's not the best but this side is just looks really flawless and beautiful in my opinion so I am really enjoying this foundation so far I really like the finish like I said it looks really natural it looks like I've, I think I applied this probably about an hour ago since I created this update and so far it just looks really really good so from the application that was around 12 30 so I'll be checking in with you guys maybe in another four hours to show you how the foundation is wearing and everything and uh, giving you that update and then I'll probably do another one at the end of the day most likely I will be going to the gym wearing this foundation so you will see what the foundation looks like after a workout so that will be a good test for this foundation right at least I think so alright guys so stay tuned and I will see you guys then alright you guys I am back for a check-in after four hours so it is about 5 30 right now I guess that's more than four hours you don't know how to count money okay anyway <clears throat> this is what my face is looking like right now it is it's not bad I like it I mean I feel like for the summer it's doing its job it's keeping the face pretty glowy I guess dewy and as my oils came through it's not like the foundation has broken up it's just you know I've got a little bit of like glow right here on my nose but I don't mind it it doesn't look bad it just looks like a dewy glow like a dewy summer glow you know what I'm saying so I'm I'm quite impressed with this foundation you guys I actually really like what it's looking like right now so I'm liking it I like it I had high hopes for this foundation and so far it has not disappointed me so yes all right all right so I will be back maybe at the end of the day to show you what the foundation looks like at the end of the day after my workout and all of that and to give you my final thoughts on this foundation so I will see you then alright guys just really quick I wanted to show you what my skin is looking like right before I go to the gym because it's probably going to be a hot mess when I come back to be honest with you because right now it seems like you know some of my oils have peeked through especially from the t-zone right here but it's not bad you guys this foundation is impressing me big time like I I mean I'm really enjoying this glow I actually don't mind it especially right now in summer I don't mind being glowy like this you know I don't want to be completely flat face mad so I'm really enjoying this foundation right now but anyway that is, this is what my face looks like right now right before I go to the gym I'm about to go to the gym right now so I will see you guys when I come back and show you the hot mess that I'm going to be because who are we kidding <laughs> alright guys see you then alright you guys and I'm back for my final check-in and I am super impressed you guys my face looks okay and I just did like 40 minutes of running so I have not touched up or anything of the sort it's looking pretty good you guys this foundation is impressive Wow I mean I knew that the other one was pretty good I just never tried it because it wasn't a good match for my skin type but this is impressive you guys I am very excited to try it with my favorite primers with my favorite setting sprays and all of that I'm impressed I mean look at my face it just looks glowy it doesn't look shiny it doesn't look disgusting you know I thought I was going to be a hot mess right now guys to be honest with you but it doesn't but now let's do the test of time and see if this actually is transfer proof especially now that I produce some oils that have kind of like moved the foundation around a little bit so I'm gonna be testing it out with this paper towel and see if it transfer onto it oh my god you guys are you seeing this are you seeing this I'm speechless you guys I mean you see a little bit of transfer but with other foundations my whole face would have been on this type of paper towel honestly well then 
CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation. You have made the cap to the top. There you go guys, that is uh, my final thoughts on this foundation. I will say, give this a go, especially if you have oily skin. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope that you found it helpful if you want to purchase this or try this foundation on your own skin, on yourself and I hope that everything that I showed you in this video was uh, helpful for you guys to make that decision. I'm gonna be leaving some more videos for you guys up here to watch from all the foundation trials that I've done on my own skin so you can check those out. And remember guys, if you want to keep discovering your fabulous self with me or discovering fabulous products with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell give this video a thumbs up to help a girl out and until next time remember that feeling fabulous it's all a state of mind bye guys